back and I'm back with another readathon for you. I know it's you're gonna say, well, I'm already still doing a readathon, which is true. I am currently doing Ribset, which is short for Read Your Bookshelf Athon, but I figured it overlaps with a Slay That Series Athon, so I said, hey, what's a better way to keep me motivated and keep me going on the with the reading than to just do back to back reading readathons? And this one um, overlaps by two days, so. But it still works out because two of the books that I'm reading for Ribsat actually fit the challenge for Slay That Series, so I'm still good. Okay. For those of you that don't know, Slay That Series is a new thing, I believe, and it's being hosted by Sarah with an H, or I'm hoping it's with an H. It might be Sarah without an H. Either way, I'll leave the links below. Sorry, Sarah. I probably got that wrong. <laughs> So, but I'll leave the links below. Go check her out. She's awesome. She's incredibly funny. And I just love watching her videos. And she wears these cute little cat ears. It's just adorable. And they're doing a Twitter thing with Twitter sprints, everything. Get all the information from her because she will be so much better at telling you than I will. Okay, anyways, I have a huge, huge, huge TBR. And these are just books that I needed to grab so that I can pick through and... You know, so I'm not narrowed down because I don't know what my reading will be because I have a lot of, like, family issues and some other stuff going on, which has been having, causing me a lot of problems with Ribsat. But I'm still plugging away. I am plugging, plugging, plugging away. So, I will show you the book, two books that I'm currently reading right now. So, the first one I'm currently reading is Leslie Livingston's Tempestuous, which is the third and final book in the Wondrous Strange trilogy. And I don't have the dust jacket on it because it's a book that I take with me somewhere and I've just got a few minutes to read. I can pick this up and start reading it. And then I've got Destined by April Lynn Pike, which is the fourth and final book in her Wings series. And um, I am over halfway through this book. It's... I love the beginning of the series. The middle of the series was so-so. And then this book is good, but I've kind of lost the motivation with this series I guess it's not as good as when it started so I've kind of lost that spirit so it's good to have the other books in there to kind of mix it up but I do want to finish it and see how it ends and then you know maybe get one of my kids to read the series because I think if they read it back to back they would like it better than I do right now okay so we'll see though because I may love the ending and who knows all right next is a series I have kind of forgotten about and I found the third book on my shelf, and it's been on my shelf for a long time. And I absolutely love the first two books. I do not know why I didn't pick this up sooner. But that is A Radiant um, Sky by Jocelyn Davies, and I love the series. It's a, The first book was A Beautiful Dark. The sequel, I can't remember the name of it at the moment, but it was good too. And so I really have no excuse, but I, but hopefully during this readathon I will be able to read this and finish it. And have that checked off my list <laughs> okay next is a author who I actually have four books to finish her series is up with and that is Ellen Schreiber's Magic of Moonlight and Full Moon Kisses I really enjoyed the first book I am really excited to read the next one the sequels and get this series finished it's only a trilogy so and they're short I should be able to get them done in no time hopefully we will see how that works out for me Next is her Vampire Kisses series, which I absolutely adore. They're adorable. They're fun. They're just silly. They're really cute. And I want to read the last two to finish that series. And that is Cryptic Cravings and Immortal Kisses. Oh, no, Immortal Hearts, sorry. And, yeah, I'm super, super, super excited to get these done. Then I have... Two books that I really, really, really want to get done, and this is really my goal for this um, readathon, and that is Tahara Mafi's Unravel Me and Ignite Me. And the reason why the dust jacket is off this book is because I have picked it up several times. I've started the series several, several times, put it down. I am at the point where I just want to read it, finish it, and get it done. I am like a mood reader, so I just wasn't in the mood to read this book and I know a lot of you are cringing right now because they I know it's a fantastic series I hear nothing but great things about it but I know it's very different from the first book how the characters change and evolve 
and everybody says I won't be decided, disappointed, but I really like the way the first book went. So maybe that's my hesitation, hesitation, but I don't know. But I plan on trying to get this one done at least. At the very least, that one. Okay. And then I got another one that I know quite a few other people are going to be like, you haven't finished that yet? How long have you had this series? And that is The Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. And it's the last two books, which is um, Dreams of Gods and Monsters and Days of Blood and Starlight. I absolutely adored the first book. I really have no excuse other than I just, I looked at them, they're huge, and I just didn't pick them up. That was it. And, but I do plan on hopefully getting to them, if not during this readathon, um, sometime this year before, you know, before it's over. So definitely want to get to those. Then I have a book that I read the first two, really enjoyed, and then I picked up the third one on Book Depository, I think, a little while ago. I haven't had this one for very, very long on the shelves, but it's the Serena Legacy, and it's Of Neptune by Anna Banks. This is the third and final book, and I really, like I said, enjoyed the first two, so I hope to get to this one and finish it soon. All right, and then I've got this one, which I don't think I'll read, to be in all honesty, but I would like to, and this is by Deborah Harkness, which is the sequel to A Discovery of Witches, and it's Shadow of Night. And like I said, it's another chunky book, so I have the other chunky ones that I really need to read first. But I would like to get to this book before the end of the year, so I pulled it for the readathon just in case I get in the mood for more of an adult content. We will see. Because the first book was freaking fantastic. I would love to read this so that I can pick up the third book finally, go out and buy it, and wrap up that series. Okay, I think I'm down to my last book. Okay, last but not least, I have Toxic Heart by Theo Lawrence, which I absolutely loved Mystic City and thought it was phenomenal. So I am looking forward to reading this and being done with the duology. I'm pretty sure all it is a duology. I even looked it up. There is no third book out as far as I know, so I'm assuming this story will end and wrap everything up. At least I hope. <laughs> so anyways, guys. That is my TBR for um, Slay That Series. Again, if you guys are doing it, let me know below. I would love to discuss how your progress is throughout the week. And if not, um, maybe check it out and maybe you can do a different readathon next time because they're amazing. Anyways, if you guys don't plan on participating, that's okay. Let me know what you're reading for the week and I will see you next time. Bye!